Hi, this is Terry Healy bringing you some extraordinary transformation. Thanks everybody who's tuning in. You're listening to WVLP at 103.1 FM. We're also live streaming at WVLP.org. Today's show is brought to you by Ryan Everhart from Diamond Residential Mortgage. Don't assume that all mortgage companies are the same because they're not. Uh, Ryan has a profound concern for his clients and their families and their pocketbooks. Um, His office is conveniently located on Route 30 in Valparaiso. He's at 350 Morphin Drive, and his direct phone line is area code 219-707-8429. Ryan, as always, thank you again for supporting uh, my show and supporting Community Radio. Um, So today I am joined by three ladies from the Maryville Rotary Club. Um, I have Mary Wright, who is the president. I have Anna Granfield, who is a current board member. And I have Nicole Van Dyne, who is the, currently the secretary of the organization. And what brought me here with them today um, is, and I don't even know, remember how it crossed my radar, but uh, one of the areas that, that they point their fundraising efforts to is called Clothing Our Children. And um, I know why it moves me, but that's not the point. That probably come up in the, in the show before we end it. But, um, so, I guess whoever wants to take the lead and kind of let uh, maybe a little bit of background about the about the organization and, and what uh, how we get started. I'll let you take that. Yeah. All right. Well, with clothing our children, um, what we have discovered over the years is that uh, we know that agencies provide the basics for food, health, and uh, housing needs for people in need. For families in need, but clothing needs are usually not on that radar. Right. So uh, they can be fed, they can be taken care of me- medically, and they can have a roof over their heads, and they can have schooling. It's not not a problem, but the problem is the clothing. And it's come to our attention that uh, by school counselors and teachers that the children are attending school inadequ- inadequately clothed for winter. Uh, one heart wrenching story was that one child was coming to school in flip flops mm-hmm. in the winter. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that was uh, that really when that brings when something like that is brought to our attention, I think a service organization such as Rotary should do something. Mm-hmm. And we started it. Um, well, Exchange Club started doing it for the first three years, and then they only had like about four to six members and they sort of dissolved and then we took it over because we thought Maryville Rotary took it over because we had a little bit more membership. And then we started doing it uh, back in 2007. Oh. And mm-hmm. so this was our 17th year of doing it. And, and we, it's met down to a pretty good turnkey operation uh, and it's now becoming a signature event and a lot of people attend it. I think we're getting our own following this we're, year. We're getting uh, uh, the same, we see the same faces, you know, it's almost like cult-ish, yeah, you know. Yeah, people yeah. want to be there. And everyone is telling us that, you know, I can't wait till next year, you know, and we saw a lot of new faces this year and heard, um, make sure we put that on our calendar for next year because, right. as Anna said, it is a signature event and it is very different from other fundraisers. Ours is a fun event. It's a food, wine, beer, tasting, and um, everyone gets a chance to come in and try food from local restaurants who donate their time and food. Maybe they've never gone to that rest- restaurant before, and this gives them an opportunity to try something a little bit. And then in the end, they're still giving back to the clothing of their children. Oh, this is wonderful. Uh, and then we have silent auction baskets mm-hmm. that. Um, are very unique. Uh, they're fun to bid on. Yeah. And uh, we also have um, a live auction, and we also do a raffle. And uh, we have a lot of um, man cave items. Mm. Oh. Okay, so these are things that I mean, usually <laughs> men don't like to bid on stuff, but yeah. Like, uh, who wouldn't want a Jim Beam cooler with remote control Bluetooth on it? Right. Oh, my right. goodness. Oh, who wouldn't a want one. a Corona yeah. um, cooler with a matching uh, lawn chair? Right. <laughs> right. You know, that says Corona low. <laughs> and then uh, Jose Cuervo um, grills. Grills. Oh, this year we had, we had a Christmas tree uh, made out of a bourbon barrel. Maker Smart Maker Bourbon, Smart barrel. bourbon mm, barrel. And that's interesting. So it was a very, very creative 
item yeah yes. and went like that so wow. we do get these unique donations and the beauty of this fundraiser is all the adult beverages are d donated yeah all the food is donated all the silent auction items are donated the live auction items are donated oh this is wonderful and so really the only net pro uh, the only bill we have is the venue the venue yeah you know to rent the place and get the tables and everything so really when we say most of our I mean our profits go to to the children we really don't spend that much in comparison to other fundraisers right so uh, that's what makes it good and people feel good about spending their money there because it's going for a good cause absolutely mm -hmm. and going to where it needs to go where we right. think the ultimate intention is I think that's mm -hmm. missing in a lot of a, a lot, lot of, of other children. organizations, right? Right. Yeah. Yes. And then, and then with the, with the children, um, Maryville at the beginning was just doing it to Maryville schools. Okay. And then we would get phone calls from all these other parents from other school schools. districts around there. And then we realized the big aha moment was that poverty does not know boundaries. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't. It isn't just to Maryville. It isn't just to Crown Point. It, I mean. So that's why we added other other communities. Yeah. Our, our four communities include Crown Point, Maryville, Lake Station, and Hobart. And um, those are the primary ones that we do now. We started, like Anna said, we started off with Maryville, but they all kind of approached us right? Yeah. because they had such a great need. There is oh. a need. And a lot of people are surprised, like uh, Crown, Point, Crown Point, to have a need. Right, and when you yeah, look, when you look that, at the, you know, that's what you think. You, like, you, you don't, you don't realize that no. crown point. Yeah, um, and what we use, uh, the the, what we use is the, um, if you qualify, the family qualifies for a free or reduced lunch mm -hmm, program. Mm -hmm. That means they are at the poverty level, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that as as noted by the federal government. Yeah, and then so that we know that that those are the families. So. Uh, a community like Crown Point, 20% of its student population is are eligible for free and reduced po lunch. programs. Isn't that shocking? It oh, is. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. So so here you have Crown Point with 8,800 8, children mm -hmm. uh, enrolled, and uh, close to 1,700 are on the free and reduced program. Right. So it isn't, I mean, in an affluent communi community, there will be... Yeah. Uh, situations like if somebody lost their job or a single mom or whatever Someone something in the family and you know the, the primary right. breadwinner then mm -hmm. before you know it and then like the community of Lake Station where almost 76 percent of their student body is on 76 uh, percent free and reduced lunch programs uh, you know. so it's a very poor community and the year that, that they had that flooding when when Everything mm -hmm. flooded. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you put your winter clothing? In the basement. In the basement and yeah. boxes and everything. And so we, that year we gave more to the oh. communities that flooded the most, that which is, is basically expensive. Hobart and, and and Lake Station. Lake Station. Right. Yeah. So so you know we so we watch the news and we make sure that it goes to where it's needed, and mm -hmm. um, it's. Uh, they, they only get a $75 gift card, but it's from Kohl's. Right. You can do pretty good with that. Well, yes, you can, when you because get, they have a lot of sales. When yeah, you have the sales, sure. and then there are you they know, get the a Kohl's discount, cash, right. and they get a discount. Kohl's mm -hmm. is actually very generous with us, right. and they give us additional discounts. So oh, for $75... Yeah. We don't pay $75. No. But, no, right. You know, right. It's the value of $75. Right. They can get a sufficient winter wardrobe. Sure they could. Um, and yeah. if we have a family of three kids, we don't just give one gift voucher. Each kid gets Each one. child mm -hmm. gets a gift voucher. Wow. Mm -hmm. Right. And and the people are very uh, uh, appreciative of it, I'd say. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, and why do we pick Kohl's? Because they don't sell alcohol. Mm. They don't sell cigarettes. Right. Oh. You know, so oh gosh, you know, I don't think you know like it's it's clothes, yeah. it's clothes, yeah. And if they, they might have a kitchen item or they might need bedding, mm -hmm. but it's it's going to go for the family, right? right. You right. know, so it's like and and we do spot check on what they spend it on, 
But, you know, mothers and grandparents know what their child needs, yeah. and they're going to use it for them. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, we're, we're not too worried about it. But that's one reason why we chose Coles. So. Right, mm -hmm. right. And I would like to throw in there, too, that we work very closely with the school administrators as well. They come mm -hmm. to our meetings. They know what mm -hmm. we're doing. Mm -hmm. They know, uh, you know, how we're trying to raise the money for them. And they all participate in the event. They all, you know, are helping us fundraise. They're helping sell tickets. And they're there at the event with us Bringing as well. So we auction baskets, mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, yeah, and one thing that's kind of fun to see as well is people from different school districts well, see each other at, at our event, and they're like, hey, how did you do this? How did you do that? Oh. And they really want to work together to, you know, do what they can for their schools as well. Sure. To what they can do. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. So is it one fundraiser a year, which you guys do? Yep. We do yeah. one fundraiser. Uh, this is the big event, but we also raise money other ways, such as grants. Mm -hmm. You're applying for a grant right now. I'm, I'm applying for a grant through um, Mike Anderson Chevrolet. Okay. Um, that probably won't go until next year's event because of the way that they do their uh, decisions on their grants. Yeah. We get grants from the Anderson Foundation. This year, you know, yeah. we've got a very large grant from the Anderson Foundation. And then Rotary uh, International, I don't know if it's Rotary, Rotary District. District. Does community grants. So does community grants. So we'll get money from them. And then um, the raffle at the event. See, we have two entities, Maryville Rotary Club, and then we, this started getting a little bigger, so we decided to make Maryville Rotary Club Charities Incorporated. Right. That's a 501c3. Mm -hmm. And then that opens doors to grants sure. and other right. possibilities. And right. that's why we make more, you know, other funds coming in through grants. Yeah. Right. And uh, so it's, it's working out pretty good. Uh, everybody's on board. And um, it's just a fun event. Yeah. And mm -hmm. It's oh, hard work. Like it. it's, it's a lot of work. work. Yeah. 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 It's months and months of preparation for this one day. Yeah. Um, and, and every I'm, year, it's is it going to go off the way we thought it was going to go? And every <laughs> year, it's better than the year before. We were all <laughs> laughing the day February 9th was our last event, and we were all standing there going, well, we did it again. We always think two weeks before, three weeks before, oh, my gosh, we're never going to make it. We're never right. going to make it. And boom, we make it. And it just it all comes together. It all right. comes mm -hmm. together. The raffle items, you know, the donations, the the volunteers that we we have come in. We even have the Maryville High School Interact Club, which is a high school version of Rotary. That's a club oh. that we sponsor, our Maryville Rotary Club. And they come in and help set up and... Nice. Uh, move baskets around and set up baskets and move things in and out, you know, for one of their service projects, too. Oh, that's yeah. Nice. yeah. So, yeah, it's, we're getting ready for the next generation. Yeah, we yeah. are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Service above self. So, yeah. that's, that's what we do, and right. it's fun. And then uh, we're starting another fundraiser this year. It'll be like a Texas Hold'em. The, the men are getting involved at the Rotary Club to do... A Texas Hold'em um, cigar Hold smoker yeah. at Karma okay. Cigar in Maryville. Yeah. That's scheduled for April 18th. That's a Saturday, 6 to 9 p.m. And uh, like I said, that's primarily the the men are, are mostly interested in sure. that one. But we will um, use that money either for clothing or children. The board hasn't decided. We also give scholarships. Okay. We'll give uh, $1,000 scholarships out to the Maryville High School students. Uh, we've given them out to the Andrean High School students um, every year. We, last year, I think we gave out three, three, yeah, three, three of them, yeah. so three $1,000 yeah. scholarships. So, And we do some fun things in between just for the club, or, you know, where we raise money. We um, do a turkey raffle in, in November, and we just uh, have fun at a... Uh, lunch and we do raffle items amongst ourselves and we raise money to purchase gifts, gift certificates for turkeys <laughs> for the residents or not residents, the clients, the clients of St. Clair Clinic. Free clinic. Mm -hmm. It's a free point. clinic, right. Oh, I didn't even know it existed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's It's a on Nine Mile. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's a, it, a, yeah. It's a, really, it's for women. It is. I think it is it, primarily it, it, for right, women, but uh, women and children. Right. Oh. Free clinic for women and children. Right. So all the services are free. Yes. Yeah, I believe it is. Or is it on a sliding scale? 
Mm, I think yeah. for some it might be. If some for some it might be, but but they don't have a bill. <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> We're not sure, but obviously there's a need for it. Yeah, there's a need there. Yeah, there's a need. Yeah, and yeah. and it's it's really nice to see the the faces of the families when they can come and get, you know, a bag full of groceries and everything for Thanksgiving dinner. Sure, you know, sure. That they wouldn't normally have. Um, but this is our biggest event. Yeah, and the one thing we I want to stress is we like the parents. Or the grand, you know, the the guardian, which could use some of them are grandparents right. shopping for their children, because there's other. I mean, I'm not putting other ages seats down, right. but some people will give them free coats and this and that. But I think a mother, a parent knows what their child needs, mm -hmm. and maybe you know they do their own hand me down versions, mm -hmm. and they need this for you know to last mm -hmm. longer. But I think it also keeps the um, integrity of the family. Mm -hmm. uh, together Absolutely. to go shopping with your family. The kids are excited. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what comes to mind, and it could be off the, off the mark, is that if you handed a family a coat, it wasn't a coat that the child chose. That's right. true. It's something someone was chose, chosen, and they're, they just have to accept it. Right. Versus mm -hmm. if you the mom goes in and says, look, we can only spend 30 bucks on the coat because we got to get the boots and the mittens and the, right. and the mm -hmm. hat. You, you get this one or this one, and the child has some sort of Feeling of that, yeah, that they're being mm -hmm. that they're being shocked, for, right? You know right. what I mean? Like they're special. It feels yeah. special. That's what mm -hmm. that's what comes to mind. Right. Yeah. Just and it's important time spent with your family. Like Anna mm -hmm. said, it's you know you can't take those memories back. Yeah, especially for Christmas. You know, mm -hmm. everybody wants a nice something nice for sure. Christmas. Sure. But like like we raise the money in February, we'll continue with grants and whatever, and then we will give out our vouchers in October. Okay. This year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Early October? Early, yeah. Yeah, yeah. usually first yeah. or second week of October. Yeah. And then that way uh, they can keep an eye out for the sales and everything coming out. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And the administrators at each one of those schools, they knew, they know the families that are most needy. Yeah. They know who needs things the most. So that's mm -hmm. why we, we present them to the administrators and then they decide you know, through throughout the year, who gets those vouchers? Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Well, that's the that's the right mm -hmm. view for it because they know that they can tell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, last Absolutely. year we had a um, a fire in uh, one of the families in Hobart, mm -hmm. and they uh, the counselor called up and said, "Do you have any more gift cards?" Because mm -hmm. uh, they don't. Everything was burned. Mm -hmm. So then I contacted the other schools because I had already distributed them and a couple other schools said I have two that I haven't given out yet. You can have them. And so it went to a family in need. So, right. Right. And, you mm -hmm. know, they helped each other. They helped each other, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really great. So are you guys able then to fill the need in those communities? There is so much. The need is so big we can't yeah. fill it. Yeah, that's why like, I'm um, wow. we, We've given out, um, okay, the past... Since I've been years. keeping track, yes, we've given out five thousand four hundred and twenty seventy-five dollar gift cards. Right. Wow. And um, we've given out as depending on the money, uh, we usually give out uh, like this past year we gave out four hundred and twenty. In our banner year, we gave out five hundred and thirty. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's because people came in and just gave money at the, at the last minute. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. And, and sure. we're on target more. this year for um, 480. Get, yeah. it, and it might even go up more because we're, we still have some money coming in from sponsors and donors. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like Rams. Anna said, um, there's Kohl's always does something special where we can purchase more. Nice. Mm -hmm. So yes. we're at about 480 at this point today. Yeah, so we'll be get, hopefully we can bring it up to 500. Yeah, that that's what I was hoping. Yeah, um, so that we'll 501. 501. 501. Okay, good idea. That's the goal. 501. Yeah. yeah. What uh, what do you think the community need is? If if you're not taking, I mean, how many people would step forward and say that they need that that aren't being served? Mm, I think we're just touching a little bit. Of yeah, it. yeah. Because um, we we probably because you look at how many kids, you know, how many people, how many families are below mm -hmm. that line, yeah. how many students are below that line. So it kind of really right. identifies, 
you know, how many are out well, like there. Well, like Anna said in the beginning, there are a lot of different ways and means to get things like school supplies yeah, and to get it. food. We and give school supplies. We give again. school supplies yeah. too. Um, and to get, um, and, there, and there are a lot of really wonderful organizations who will give out, like you said, just the coat, you mm -hmm. know, where we give them dignity to shop mm -hmm. on their own so sure. that if they if they don't need a coat but you know they, they need, need a shoe socks. underwear yeah, maybe they need socks, socks. Yeah. maybe they don't have pajamas right. that are right. enough for the winter you yeah. know we don't know what they need we're not in their household right okay. like one of our um thank you notes um was from one of our administrators it was a boy asking for help to tape his shoes with duct tape each morning and the duct tape was the only thing holding his shoes together. His, and also his pants were two inches too short and his shirt had holes in it. His family was given a clothing voucher and there was nothing better than to see that boy wipe his brand new shoes off proudly as he walked through the halls. So the, those are the stories. That's the need. That's gotcha. what we're striving for. Yeah. To give yeah. them the confidence to feel good at school so they don't have to worry about you know, shoes or someone making fun of them because they have holes in their shoes or holes in their clothes and they can concentrate on school. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. No, I think it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's wonderful what you guys are yeah. doing. Um, and I like that I like that the guys are stepping forward and creating this um, hold Smoker. Them. Yeah. 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 With a like, different idea. So right. hopefully yeah. it'll work out. Because yeah. uh, we're doing, I mean, they, it isn't just women in Rotary, but, no, but no. they they really help out at right. the event too. Right. But I'm glad that this. I feel like I'm crashing it just to see. <laughs> 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 hold your breath. I'm like, oh, it's not. Yeah. I don't. I don't think it's intended only for men. But you know, it's just. It yeah. just seems like it's more. Um, yeah. we're, we're not driven. smokers. Sure. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not a smoker. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's just a way for them. You know to create something fun right. for mm -hmm. for their friends and and colleagues to raise money for this the same mm -hmm. thing are the ticket sales available to the community for the smoker yes they'll be available i believe it was a hundred dollar buy-in okay um for that particular smoker it'll and be on facebook it'll be on mm -hmm. facebook yeah. soon um karma cigar uh you could always call them and get deep more details, details but we'll have more details on Facebook we've been migrating more towards social media sure. now with with our Absolutely. you know notifications and um, accommodations you know you know for for our vendors and things like that because that's where everyone is yeah, they're is. all out there on social right. media actually she's our, our, <laughs> our Facebook <laughs> guru, guru here um, <laughs> but we are trying to go more electronically instead of manually this this event has grown so much you know when we were initially doing it we were manually stuffing envelopes and oh, mailing sure. things out you know and this year um, we were very fortunate to uh, partner with diversified marketing and, and Andrea Pierman she donated her artwork team you know her, her social media team helped me with constant contact and Eventbrite, we did Eventbrite for the yeah. first time this year mm -hmm. for our tickets. Is it like a transition year, you know? Yeah, wow. it's a transition yeah. year yeah. from manual to more electronic, mm -hmm. so to try and help things go smoother and take all of that pressure off of us doing everything manually right. so that we can keep this particular mm -hmm. project going. Yep, and make sure that you um, like our Clothing Our Children Facebook page and our Rotary, our Maryville Rotary Club Facebook page, because I'm going to be keeping um, the Clothing Our Children page active by making sure we're highlighting all of our sponsors. We have right. so many sponsors and so many vendors that help support this year after year mm -hmm. that you know we have to make sure we, we find a way to thank them and we patronize them throughout the year because they do really great things for our communities. Mm -hmm. Right, right. We can't do this without our sponsors no. yeah. and our vendors. Uh, Devil's Trumpets uh, is one that has been one of our vendors for probably five or six years now. For as long as they've been open. They've the, as long as they've been open. Yeah. Um, and we were there last night for one of our after hours meetings, you know, so that we could reciprocate for their generosity with mm -hmm. our program. So visit Devil's Trumpet. 
Yeah. Yeah, the beer wasn't bad either. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it was you gotta do it. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. Took one for the team. Yeah, took one for the team. Keep us our arm, you know. <laughs> That's funny. How yeah. many corporate sponsors do you have? Oh gosh, we have. A lot. Yeah, we have Diversified Marketing. Asparagus Restaurant has mm -hmm. been with us every year. Um, Carriage Court Pizza was new this year. Mm -hmm. They were uh, first time. Chow Bella has been with us for many years as a vendor. Lencioni's Catering. Provecho Restaurant was new this year. Yeah. So oh. it's Pappas. Um, Kate Gardner uh, is a young lady who makes cake pops out of her home. They're little cake pops and she sells them and, and she calls them cake pops. And she donated 350 cake pops oh. as a vendor this year. Oh, Makes them out of her kitchen. They were so oh, cute. Wow. They're Cheerio. adorable and she can make them any way that you want them. Tavern on Main, I, you know, they are just a big supporter. Not only do they come and um, as a vendor, but they also donate gift cards and Cooper's Hawk. Cooper's Hawk comes shocking. every year. Every year, it's shocking because it's a. You no, know. they've been doing it every, every year. year. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, yeah. The, the owner is a big support of anything with children. He's in. Wow. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cousin Subs is new in the area. Yep. They joined yeah. us this year. Uh, new Ober Falls Brewery, Tim Crawl and Republic National Distributing. He's huge supporter been with us every single yeah, year. year lakeshore public media innsbruck country club mm -hmm. the newest uh was josh halpern and albert's jewelers donated oh. uh, several pieces of jewelry for us to put in our auction and our live auction wow. so that was really a great addition and then general insurance did a blue jeans friday Mm -hmm. And raised a thousand dollars, and it all went towards. Oh my goodness! Right, all just mm -hmm. from their employees, mm -hmm. and it all went to. Yeah. Um, it's it's real. It, it's taking on a, its own momentum. I think as, as yeah. the years go by, mm -hmm. and that's just our platinum sponsors. Yeah. We have different levels. And I was levels. really worried this year was with last year when we moved it to February because it used to be in October. And I thought you never know about the weather. Right. And it snowed both years, and people mm -hmm. came. Yeah, 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 the, yeah people yeah. still come. Yeah, and the so. harder it snows, the longer they stay. The longer <laughs> they stay. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it was fine. It was, it was fine. fine both years. It was mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, yeah. We we had probably three hundred fifty people this year. Had about. 350. There was one year we had over 400. Yeah, it was really um, crowded. But, but we, we never ran about, out of food. So that's, no, yep. we yeah. average about 350 to 375 people visiting the event oh, each year. That's a mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Well, I think yeah, and tickets are like $25 to attend. That's it? That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. That's, that's nothing. I know. know. Wow. And so you get you get to taste wine and drink ales and all this food. Yeah. And right. they bid on wonderful gifts. Right. And it only lasts from one to four, three hours of just fast An fun. afternoon. Yeah. So it doesn't, you know, uh, conflict with anything during the morning, church. Yeah. Right. And it doesn't conflict with Sunday dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Smack in between. Yeah. Well, that was, so. a, that was a really smart idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess it doesn't really matter if they're buying the entry ticket or they're putting the donations in the basket in charge of the baskets. Right. The live auction. It's, that's still funding that comes in for, for the organization. Absolutely. So, right. should mm -hmm. so ticket prize. No. Yeah. And, and, and we do have door prizes. We yeah. do. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. yeah. So oh, it's fun. like, and they're, they're usually bottles of Oski. And we have yeah. a, Mickey does um Corks for coats. Cor corks for coats. And mm -hmm. she does these uh, cork pulls. Oh. And then you get either a beautiful bottle of wine okay. or you get gift cards. Mm -hmm. oh. There's some I mean, kind of consolation prize. So <laughs> it's a lot of and, fun. And they're, they're nice yeah. prizes, you know, uh, gift cards to local restaurants, you know, S Starbucks. Post-it notes, you know how to Post-it post notes. notes. <laughs> yeah. Post -it notes. Rotary post-it notes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, you know, social media, obviously, the game plan, that's how, that is how I found my way to you. Yeah. Is mm -hmm. no one, because usually um, guests from my show are recommended to me. People will find other people in the community right. and say, mm -hmm. you need to be doing it, looking at this. But, um, so here's just a thought. If you're ever looking for content with social media, what came to mind immediately was, can you do a feature every now and then, like just and allow your page to help support one of your sponsors? 
Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. You know, like what a, a control That's a good idea. How yeah. You build a space is usually yeah. the problem with social media. It's like That's yeah, a good having idea. a plan yeah. to keep it going. Yeah. Right. 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 And it's one thing yeah. to obviously patronize the establishment, but to give them mm -hmm. a little bit of airtime and social media presence is just a cool thing. Absolutely. So, right. Yeah, just saying. <laughs> yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah, that's a great idea. We're always open for new ideas. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we try to add a little twist each year, um, and we're, we're already planning for next year. You know, every year we think, will this be the last year? But we, it isn't. Oh, how can mm -hmm. we manage? Yeah, we can't. Can. Can. Well, you know, we we, just when know. you look at the thank yous that we get, or the testimonials we get from the teachers, we got to yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, it's really... We have to keep going because mm -hmm. there's more and more. I mean, mm -hmm. we're sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not going thing. away. Yeah, but it's not right. I mean, no. it never will. No. Unfortunately, no, it's, 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 not. Yeah, it's just how do you step in and fill the gap? You know, mm -hmm. those that can, how do you do it? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, for those that can't. Yeah, you know, like, absolutely. That's the way to do it. But um, it's nice that you get the testimonials because one of the things that I was thinking about is that um, it, if you don't get to see the end picture, you don't get to see how it shows up in the life mm -hmm. of a family or a child. Um, how do you get the connection? Where do you get the, the draw? If you haven't lived right. that lived that life and understand what it's like to be the kid, mm -hmm. yeah. um, then how do you get it? You know? Right. There, there was. I, um, I'll gi I will give you these to look at. But one suggestion from Tammy was to get these blown up yep. and put them at the event. We're gonna. Oh. I, that's one of our our new ideas for next yeah. year. Is yeah. To put that. And that's up. a good idea to bring the 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 heart wrenching <laughs> to the stories <laughs> yeah. to the story. You know, it breaks your heart. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, like this one family. They have never shopped at a department store ever. All they she did all her shopping. At, at Salvation Army or Goodwill mm -hmm. or hand me downs, yeah. right? And th it was they were it was like a treat for them. They wow. were so excited. Yeah, I imagine that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow, something that most of us take completely for granted. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. or get irritated because we can't get close parking. I mean, yeah, right, <laughs> exactly. on and on. Right, <laughs> this isn't in my size. You know, right. yeah, yeah. against my goal stash. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, do you ever get any any feedback from the from the children directly? Is there access to that or no? No, no. really. It just yeah. uh, we don't get it personally. Mm -hmm. it, the school counselors do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There are or the, or the school social workers, the ones that actually make make the decision. They're the ones that um, they come and 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 they'll come to the meeting where we're presenting the gift cards. Um, and and they're just very emotional because they see mm -hmm. the joy that these gift cards are bringing to those kids, right. and they come and they share that with us. So okay, just another thought <laughs> <laughs> um, is that what an incredible thing would it be to get those as almost even if you could get video testimonials, like have a school counselor in front of a two-minute vid just saying this is what mm -hmm. it was like when that child walked in and, and showed me what it was That is a great mm -hmm. idea. You know, we yeah. could do that when we, we have a celebration luncheon mm -hmm. when we uh, invite the school administrators and they come to uh, to our rotary, rotary meeting mm -hmm. and then we give them the vouchers mm -hmm. or the gift cards they could give, you know. And um, that's when we have them stand up. So when they stand mm -hmm. up to talk about their experiences, their testimonials, then that's when that's when we should video. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a really great idea. Yeah, I would get them on video. I don't know if I'd do it quite that way. I would almost like the way that I saw it was almost like a video station off to the side of whatever right. that is, and then prepare them in advance just to say so they can do have this. If you have a story prepared, because that's mm -hmm. how we can touch the community in a deeper way mm -hmm. and just can you bring us a two or three minute story and I'm yeah. sure we could put that on we yes. can visit them at the school too. visit them at the school and then put it on Facebook on that mm -hmm. page that we're going to keep going yep mm -hmm. <clears throat> we want to make sure we keep that mm -hmm. Facebook page going you do. so that it's forefront in everyone's mind well and again the hard part is is content you mm -hmm. know that you want to yeah. have content that's that's resonant um, so that's a, that would be a phenomenal idea, right? right? And that's where people, that's as close as they're going to get to, right. you know, feeling what it felt like from the child's vantage point. It's right. just like a secondhand, you know, this is somebody who really got to experience how that showed up right. for them. Like mm -hmm. with the Holbrook Community Schools, um, the counselor there, uh, well, they are, the PTA, or, or, or PTA, I don't know what it is, is really uh, behind it. 
they're the ones, the PTO gives the school counselor the money mm -hmm. to buy four baskets. Four baskets, mm -hmm. right, to put in our options. You know, because teachers yeah. give enough of their own money okay. when mm -hmm. they're, yeah, you know. Living and doing right. their job. Right, right. right. Yeah, yeah. So, so they do that, and then uh, one uh, um, teacher got so excited, you know, she just says this, this is the best thing since sliced bread for the kids because teachers truly love their children, mm -hmm. their, their, uh, their students. She got her husband, who's a professional painter, to donate a paint certificate that he will paint two rooms in your yeah. home, including the paint. Right. And that really? was auctioned off. That's that's and the I type didn't of get unique. it. I was really working on it. <laughs> wow. That's the that. type of unique gifts that we get, you know. Yeah. You know, something yeah. like that. It's true. There was some interest in that, you know. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Think, yeah, of course you want your yeah. home. <laughs> yeah, and that's what we're going to push it. off. We'll, we'll do that next year. We'll do that next month. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah, right. Well, in February, we're thinking about spring cleaning. Is right yeah, around the corner. Yeah, so, exactly. yeah. Exactly. so anyway, that was uh, th that shows you how how the teachers are involved, and they attend. Yeah. And uh, they're there. They're yeah. there. So, in fact, they're calling. This year they were calling. Yeah. When, where, when, are you, when are you selling the tickets, bringing over the tickets? I go, you got to go online. Yeah, yeah we're mm -hmm. doing it all online. Yeah, sure, we're, sure. You know, trying to transition everyone to, to a more um, modern way. I'm sure that we're all used to it. That's probably great, almost grateful now. Right. Yeah. Stuff that's like paper tickets, I'm like, you got to be kidding. Where am I going to put that until the event now? Yeah. And, like, right. And go to the wallet for that? My yeah. phone? <laughs> And what if you lose it? Yeah, what if it right. happens? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Those are the fears. Well, I don't know. I would I would encourage. Um, I still going back to that videography thought is I would, I would encourage anyone um, to even like you can make a two minute video with your phone. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody has an experience and, and something they cool. can, yeah. um, you know, do that testimonial for you. Kind of in when they're in the moment. Yeah. You know, versus when you have the meetings and they have the opportunity to right. share the mm -hmm. stories. Um, it's amazing that they show up and share them, but. Just, I mean, you know, you can go to yeah. events, yeah, something like that. That is a really great that. idea. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah for my head We'll have to plan that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think in anybody that wants to follow the page, it seems to be that's where all the information is going to be coming. So it's Clothing Our Children. Mm-hmm. Okay, awesome. Clothing Our Children. Yeah. Get in there, yeah. like it, follow. Oh, I guess you automatically follow it when you like it. But anyway, you like it, and get <laughs> in there and follow it. And um, I love the idea of the uh, the event with the cigars and then the cigar yeah. smoker mm -hmm. and things like that. That the guys good. are stepping forward and they want to they want to carve out their own their own way of contribution mm -hmm. that's right. not on the, on the coattails of all the girls yeah. <laughs> doing it yeah. yeah and you know what if we can get competitive between the men and the women and see who can fundraise more i'm all about it the more, <laughs> the more money <laughs> we bring in the, be the better i came from nonprofit, so yeah, yeah. I love yeah, it'll be fun. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, fun. we can give back. You know, we we really try to. So, right. and we're you know just because the event is over doesn't mean that we're not still taking donations. So if you feel compelled, mm -hmm. absolutely send us a check. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll give you the links to everything as well, so you can post that. And by all means, mm -hmm. send your email in with all of your information because going forward, we're going to be using Eventbrite and mm -hmm. you know emailing information out more and more. To help keep mm -hmm. the costs down. Sure, sure. Yep. And message us on uh, Facebook if you have questions, if right. you, how you um, can get involved, if you want to join us. Uh, we're always, you know, working hard for for this cause and uh, a lot of other causes throughout Northwest Indiana as well um, that Rotary pitches in to help with. Uh, we're always right, always working on something. Always working on something. And it's, it's great the way the other clubs, Rotary, and Crown Point. Yep. And um, you know, also help out. They support us they as well. They support yep. us right. buy tickets, attend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, or be a sponsor if they have a business in Hobart. Right. You know, yeah. They're in Crown Point. Right. So. Mm -hmm. right. And do you guys all do that? Like, you know, cross mm -hmm. support amongst the different clubs? Yeah. Well, 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 you know, we're sort of unique in that because, you know, most, most, uh, uh, how do I put this? Other clubs will do a fundraiser, but it's only for their community. Right. Ah, uh, yes. You know, it's and like Crown Point does happening. something. Yeah. It's right. only for Crown yes. Point. Yes. But we're unique in that we're doing it for more than we just We cross America. over. Mm -hmm. Right. And and that was just because you were getting called by other school districts. That we were getting called. Yeah. We That's were getting called. Involved. Okay. Yeah. And, and like I said, you know, poverty does not know no. the school district boundaries. No. You know, you're poor, you're poor. And okay. any mother will call if they find something that 
sure. if they heard and about another family, family getting something, right? So how, how would a, a family step up and take advantage of, of the program or to get an opportunity to get a voucher? It's through their school. Their school. Okay, so they would their have school, to be by the um, school. administrators, mm -hmm. okay. or social worker. Okay. The social worker knows that they are right. on the eligible free lunch program. Right. Okay. So that puts them at a certain poverty level. Right. Okay. And uh, and they'll know what's available, and they'll know the family. Okay. Like but like we said, if there's mm -hmm. more than one child, they're not going to give to one, but not the others. Right. So they'll make sure you know that. Interesting. It just raises lots of questions in my head. It's almost like it's. It, what, I guess what surprises me is that people at that level would have that that intimate knowledge of because those are big school systems we're talking mm -hmm. about. You know, and how counselor probably serves how many kids? They know their students. They do. Like, Isn't it? Oh, Crown Point and Hobart and Maryville, they have excellent social workers yeah. and counselors. They know their students. Okay. Yeah. They know their students. So then they're on the pulse with you guys about right. how many vouchers yeah. are Yeah, and they work closely with the with, with the school nurse, too. Right. Ah, that would be a flag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. a big flag right there. Yeah, they know, they yeah. truly know mm -hmm. their students and the families and mm -hmm. the parents. They do. It's, I don't know how they do it, but they do. Yeah, isn't that shocking? Mm -hmm. and, and the parents, uh, the, the guardian, it could, it's usually a grandmother, yeah. or the parent will come in because they have to come in yeah. mm -hmm. and sign they the sign form. Sign for it. That they receive these, these, uh, this gift card. And it's going to be for the sole purpose of uh, clothing for their child. Yeah, got it. Mm -hmm. yeah, got it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I thought I remember. Like I thought it was just for winter clothing or just for the, the coat. I think was where where I think, there was um, I think that's or... the common misconception okay. because even when we we um, started advertising more on social media and then we put the constant contact emails out, I was getting um, questions. Do you do you take coats? You know, mm -hmm. just they wanted to physically bring in coats, yeah. and I had to explain the program. So it, right. it is a misconception that it is just for that coat. Yeah, and that's funny. Because I got that. I didn't mm -hmm. come in with that misconception. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I got a little bit lost in that. But yeah. Well, like the boy with you know duct tape on his shoes. Yeah. He did. He may not have needed a coat, but he certainly needed shoes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. So, um, you know, there's there's a lot of them. Like Kids that. grow fast those years. <laughs> yeah, they grow yeah. tall. Keep yeah. watering them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, as soon as you buy them, they, okay, you know, they're going to grow them. So. Yeah. yeah. So the fundraiser that you're talking about, that, you, that we talked about at the beginning, that's always in February? It is now. Okay. Where it's it's usually that first Sunday in February. We were having it in October, but then we found out that there was so much competition for fundraisers during that time of year Huge. that we were getting lost yes. in the shuffle. Yes. So last year was our first year where the board decided to move it to February and we were nervous about it because it's weather, weather yeah, it's uh, like the you second know, Sunday in February. It's after Christmas, mm -hmm. you know, things like that where we used to kind of promote a Christmas theme, you know, for Christmas mm -hmm. gifts mm -hmm. and so um oh I can see that. Yeah, yeah. So the, last year we did it more of a Valentine theme, mm -hmm. um, and this Mother's year, Day and this year we focus more on spring, Mother's Day. We did, Easter. yeah, we did focus a little bit on Valentine's Day, especially with the jewelry that we had coming. Yeah, out like we year. had a date night basket, mm -hmm. you know, Fun. right, right, yeah. and uh, a bottle of wine, chocolates, and. A night at a hotel, you know, a weekend at a hotel, yeah. That's but it, nice. But these first two years, knock on wood, have not deterred yeah. anyone from coming and staying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we'd have to have a blizzard. I think I we're all kind of used to kind of being in the region. Mm -hmm. It'd have to be something where you, you have to be mobile. And I feel by, by February, we're tired of being locked in the house all the right. time. We want to get sure. out. We want to get right. some wine. We want to eat some food. So right. it's worked out really well for us the last couple of years. And, and we, we're not competing with anybody. And, no, 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 you're and not. Because that's what my head's going like all the boats. There's just a few little things going on, but yeah, it's no, not us. You know, our yeah. association, yeah. that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, and I think of all the organizations that I know of or let alone that, that I've interviewed that, you know, they... It, you know, our hearts and our wallets are more open during the holiday season, and that's probably how we're all wired. Right. But how many places and how much need is really there, and we yeah. should all be contributing to what we. There's only so much of it can Only so much you can do. But it's right. nice that it's absolutely post recovery, post holiday recovery, and then you've got your 
get yourself back together right. and, mm -hmm. and can reopen it back up. So if someone, um, obviously we missed the event this mm -hmm. year, but we'll look mm -hmm. for it for next year, but, mm -hmm. and isn't going to do the cigar event in April, mm -hmm. um, are they able to do a financial contribution through your Facebook site? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. yeah. You can contact um, one of us um, through the Facebook. Uh, Nicole mm -hmm. generally monitors that on behalf of the club, mm -hmm. and then she'll reach out to me because I'm the president this year. And if someone wants to mail in a check, um, I don't know the post office box, box off the top of my head. 11,001. Maryville, Indiana. Mm -hmm. So You know where I'm going, don't you? You need a donate button on that Facebook page. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should probably put one on that too. Yeah, yeah. Maybe get your busy There may be one on there. I'm not <laughs> I sure. Don't um, I don't know. I don't there know. Isn't. Okay. There isn't. There is one. Not. No. Yeah. I know I'm an admin on that too. And, yeah. Um, we need to add a donate okay. button. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. because yeah. It, people mm -hmm. were not, we're, you know, I don't even know where my checkbook is. Do you know what I mean? Everything is. Oh, awesome. I, mm -hmm. I work for a bank, and I can't remember the last time I wrote a check. Yeah, That's something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, who does that anymore? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, anybody who's listening, if this is something that pulls at your heartstrings, um, take a peek at the Facebook page, and if the donate button isn't there or, or operational, then reach out to yeah, us. Yeah, read yeah. instructions to $75 covers one child. Mm -hmm. Well, and also too, I want to share with people: don't feel that you need to you need to pay for a whole voucher if you've got no. twenty dollars. Oh, we'll yeah. 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 yeah, any little bit helps mm -hmm. builds up to a voucher. Right. So, um, yeah. so people know when you're able to take smaller mm -hmm. donations and things. But, Absolutely. Um, aside from, I mean, I know finances are wonderful things to have for your five hundred one. Is there anything else that you would want to make a call out to the community for? Um, I would just like to really thank some of our other mm, sponsors, let's too. Do that. Let's do that. Um, we, we have three different levels. We have a platinum, which I, I had already read off. We have a gold, and we have a silver sponsorship. Um, the Anderson Foundation um, donated $6,000 this year to us. We, we were given a grant. That was a grant for that. So that we can't say enough about them. Um, Horizon Bank has both has uh, sponsored every year. That's my employer. Mm -hmm. uh, Custom Data Services, U.S. Financial Services. Kim Seitzinger is not a business, but let me tell you, she is there every year, and she is mm -hmm. um, really supporting sweet. us every year with this clothing our children. LGS Plumbing. We have Midwest Telecom of America, Laszlo and Pop. Attorneys at Law, Susan and Pat Frangella, they have donated um, sports memorabilia from their own collections for wow. every year for us to auction off. Wow. So very, very generous. McDonald's Restaurants of Maryville, Scapel Buick, Great Lakes Orthopedics, Swartz Retson. We had um, Lake County Public Library. We had uh, AHEPA is um, what is that organization called? AHEPA 70, Order of AHEPA. I apologize for that. Um, Goodwill, Mark Siegert. We had Edwards Jones. Paradise Travel was very generous with our raffle this year was something unique where we had Southwest Airlines. They donated four one-way tickets anywhere that they fly. And Paradise Travel donated a $1,000 travel voucher anywhere that Southwest For five days. Oh. For five, five, five days. stay mm -hmm. at a <sighs> hotel. And tickets were $20 each, and you can buy, you know, seven of them for $100, and that, and that was the prize. And That's it was amazing. That was a, a wonderful pro a yeah. prize this year. Uh, List Body and Paint Car Star. Uh, Michael Sports Eatery, All Around Limo. All Around Limo is another one that donates to uh, to go with our packages, our live auction items. We get packages for Blackhawks Black Black games. Mm -hmm. We've gotten them for the Chicago Bears games. Um, so we had four Blackhawks tickets plus the limo. And the limo. So you get a limo ride to <laughs> the games. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Yeah. The, the guys were big, and then you didn't get the one for the kiss tickets. Yeah, I wanted the kiss tickets oh. last year. <laughs> <laughs> I got outbid. Oh, no. <laughs> but oh well. Um, maybe next year we'll get something. Um, Guns and Roses. 
anyone has tickets. <laughs> uh, law offices of Sandra Marino Garcia in Hobart. She's a Hobart um, business. So we we have just some wonderful sponsors. We can't do it with without them. Mm -hmm. Just absolutely cannot. Do it so I have them. to tell you, Mary, you are the first person in all the time that I've ever done this that has taken the time to acknowledge your sponsors for me. Oh. Yeah, that's really important. Um, so also call it to the community. I'm sure you're looking for more sponsors. You can have another oh, Always yeah, looking for more yeah. sponsors. Yeah. Always. What's um, what's the contribution to be at the different levels of sponsorship? There's uh, the uh, silver sponsorship is two hundred fifty dollars, okay. and five hundred is the gold sponsorship, and then platinum is a thousand and up. Okay. And you get recognition on our printed materials. You get recognition. Like this year was our first year with Eventbrite. We put our platinum sponsors in a um, banner ad mm -hmm. at the bottom of that. Um, you get recognition. Every single one of our sponsors is recognized at the event by our MC, or they're also recognized on our board that Anna has put together every yeah. year. We put mm -hmm. a big, big poster board with mm -hmm. all the logos of all the sponsors, and we put a big sign up that we love our sponsors. But they get, we love we them. We do. <laughs> we do. And if like, if all goes well with Nicole, it'll be on, you'll be on social media. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you'll be the featured sponsor. Uh, <laughs> and I I have to tell you, Pet Supplies Plus too. That's another one of our sponsors. Their first time sponsoring was last year. And this year they jumped up with a seven hundred fifty dollars sponsorship. They they couldn't attend the event, but they wow. generously, you know, said, "I want to sponsor ten kids." And that's so good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just it just mm -hmm. amazes me like the generosity, yeah. the generous it's, spirit. Mm -hmm. It and is especially like I, I don't know why, but it's like these corporate chains. I always think that would be the most cumbersome. Like when you said Cooper's Hawk, and I'm like, no way. Yeah, you know, it's a big chain. It's not like a local business, you know, mm -hmm. um, that they that they have. The, uh, and they bring a the basket. They right. bring a beautiful bottle of wine, mm -hmm. three month membership, which yeah. includes a bottle every month, mm -hmm. right. and a tastings um, certificate for four. Nice, right? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, you know, I'm going to this event next year. <laughs> oh, it's fun. I will have yeah, to. Yeah, I'm probably going to be a sponsor too. <laughs> oh, absolutely. We'd love to have you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a lot of fun. It's it a lot is of fun. You won't now, regret it. We, no, I'm sure that I will. Yeah, we have a good time. time. And just to tease you one more time, it has nothing to do with like being featured on your Facebook page. <laughs> but I wouldn't fight you if you let me. Do it. Yeah, <laughs> you're not going to. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit you in on the I schedule. Don't know. <laughs> Yeah, we probably have it all booked already. You know, we're going to go back to Facebook and say and see yeah. all of that. Yeah, and then get it all together. Um, so I want to thank everybody who's been tuning in. You've been listening to WVLP at 103.1 FM, also streaming live at WVLP.org. Uh, thanks again to today's sponsor, Ryan Everhart from Diamond Residential Mortgage. If you need some mortgage financing, give him a call. Uh, you won't be disappointed. His office is at 350 Northland Drive in Valparaiso, and his direct phone line is 219-707-8429. Ryan, thank you so much. Ladies from the Maribel Rotary Club, what a wonderful interview. I really enjoyed it. Mary and Anne, Nicole, thank you so much. You're and welcome. Thank you for thank having you. us. We really appreciate thank you. it. It was You're nice. Welcome. Come learn about Rotary. We it meet, didn't hurt. Oh, and it, we meet at Innsbruck on Wednesdays at noon. Right now, where do you, where do you have to live in Maribel to be in that rotary? No. Nope. Oh. Here's the interesting thing about our club. Not one single member lives in Maribel. Oh, is that funny? Not one single member. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's a nice group. You've got yeah. some nice vibe mm -hmm. going. Yeah. So. All right, ladies. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Getting hurt a bit. <laughs> <laughs>